Prime Minister uh, jetted off to New York for a weekend with celebrities, and now we know the price tag. While Canadians can't eat, heat, or house themselves, he stuck them with a $61,000 bill for just for the hotels of himself and his entourage. One weekend, $61,000 of fun. Wow. Mr. Speaker, Canadians cannot pay their own bills. They certainly can't afford to pay his. Will he commit to paying for his own vacations this summer? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I was pleased to be in New York to meet with Ursula von der Leyen, Mia Motley, uh, to engage in important conversations about uh, the future of our economy, of the fight against climate change. These are things that matter. It was a midweek trip, and I uh, actually uh, happen to know that uh, Prime, uh, former Prime Minister Harper uh, was also attending uh, meetings at the same time we were down there uh, with the same organization. The Prime Minister says there's no room for savings in his sumptuous government spending. Well, I found some. For, for example, he gave CMHC $26 million in bonuses for right. e making housing less affordable. He paid $181,000 for the Governor General's travel, $116 million for McKinsey, a company that supports him but actually helped cause the opioid crisis, $54 million for the Arrive Can app, $6,000 for one night in a hotel for the Prime Minister. Doesn't he think we could pass on that spending and put the money back in Canadians' pockets? And anyone who took advantage of everything we were doing to try and keep people safe during COVID uh, to get rich uh, will face consequences. That's the way our system works. But that's not the, system, the way the system has worked since he took office eight years ago. According to the RCMP commissioner, he not only refused to be questioned in the SNC-Lavalin criminal investigation uh, and in the Aga Khan Billionaire Island investigation, but he blocked key cabinet documents from being included in those investigations. We now know that an app that was supposed to cost $80,000 went up to $60 million after the NDP helpfully voted for those extra funds. We don't know who criminally benefited from that. So once again...